Our today's topic is leak and leak rate. As leak detection is necessary for various industries, especially the components subjected to high pressure like pipeline, boiler vessels, walls, etc., and the components subjected to vacuum, vacuum chambers, condensers, etc., and it has wide scope for power plant and nuclear projects. We will cover what is leak, why leak is measured by leak rate, leak rate units in SI system and commonly used leak rate units. What is real leak and virtual leak and what is gross leak and fine leak. And next time we will see meaning of leak rate and different leak testing methods. Leak, a hole or a porosity in the wall of an enclosure which is capable of passing fluid from one side of the wall to the other under pressure or concentration differential existing across the wall. Here, if fluid is passing from one side of the wall to the another under the influence of any driving force, that means there is a leak. Now, why leak is measured by leak rate? As leak is not intentional in an item, its dimension in terms of length and width is generally unknown. And so, in leak detection practice, leak is measured by leak rate. Now, observe the picture. Jet formation at 1, at position 2 and 3. Velocity at 3 is greater than 2 and 1. As the pressure head at 1 is less than 2 and 3. The jet, form jet velocity at 1 is less. So, jet velocity is dependent on pressure head. It is the function of pressure head. So we can say the flow rate is also the function of pressure head. It means liquid passing through opening 3 will be more than at opening 2 and 1. And liquid passing through opening 2 will be more than at opening 1. Here we are seeing liquid. But in terms of leak detection, there may be liquid or gas, there, that is fluid. Now the unit of leak rate is expressed in terms of pressure into volume by time. I hope you have understood why pressure. In SI system, the unit of leak rate is Pascal meter cube per second, but commonly used unit for leak rate is standard cubic centimeter per second and millibar liter per second. Now, on the basis of uh, leak rate, leak is classified into categories cross leak and fine leak. Up to 10 raised to power minus 5 standard cubic centimeter per second, that is cross leak, and less than 10 raised to power minus 5 standard cubic centimeter per second, then it is fine leak. Now, real leak and virtual leak. Real leak, it is a source of gas where a physical path is present across the chamber wall for the gas to flow through. Example, pinhole or micro crack in the belt, etc. You can see in the picture, there is a rusted pipe, which is, then there is must be a micro crack or pinhole something or porosity that's why gas is flowing out in another picture you can see pipe is not rusted well it in well condition but gas is leaking then there must be some opening that's why it is possible and now virtual leak it is source of gas where no such physical path is present example is outgassing in a vacuum system outgassing means uh, when a chamber is under vacuum during the manufacturing process, material has some gases trapped that will be released and the pressure goes on increasing. So you can see in this graph, this green graph, from 0 to certain limit, certain limit, certain time, pressure is increasing and then pressure becomes constant.
as there is no more gas trapped inside the material and red graph this red graph indicates the leak continuously pressure is increasing and when there is both the both type of leak, leaks then graph will be like this this blue graph leak plus outgassing thanks for watching this video i hope you have understood the basic concepts